Yo, what's poppin' everybody? My name is Smotel and welcome back to another video. We are gonna be diving deep into the world of Hytel, but this time we're gonna be talking about the world generation of Hytel. What is the world gonna look like? What's the world's name? What's the generation of the world gonna look like? What are the caves are gonna look like? Are there gonna be dungeons? Are there gonna be portals? Are there gonna be bosses? What what are you getting yourself into when you're uh, popping to the world of Hytel for the very first time? We're also gonna be comparing it to Minecraft because that's kind of like Hytel's, you know, bigger brother that he got to stand up to and be better than. But yeah we're gonna be comparing it to minecraft seeing the differences between the two and uh yeah let's get started so right off the back we can already tell that the world of hytel is going to be called orbis because that's they just gave us that they were like the world of orbis you know what i mean they they just gave us that but yeah I, I don't think minecraft has a name for its world the world of minecraft you know that's not a thing you know but in hytel it actually has a name it's called orbis that's pretty cool so yeah the world of orbis you know we're in Orbis, you know what I mean? Yeah, so you got the world of Orbis, and right off the bat, there's something different uh, that's not in Minecraft that's in the world of Orbis, and that's how different biomes are generated in the world of Orbis versus how different biomes are generated in the world of Minecraft. In Minecraft, uh, biomes are just randomly generated, kind of. You know, some biomes are rarer than others, like jungles are rarer than savanna biomes, or ice peak biomes are rarer than uh, just plains biomes, something like that. Um, but yeah, biomes are rarer than other biomes in Minecraft. However, when it comes to Hytel, it seems like it's a distance thing, unless I'm reading this wrong. Back when Hytel was inside of a development, they had this picture up there, the World of Orbis, where you can see there's different zones. Uh, it looks like there's six different zones in the World of Orbis, and they only give us four. Um, the other two zones, we don't know them because they didn't show them. But it looks like you have, like, the, the plains biome, and then you got the desert, and then you got the ice, and then you got, like, the, the hell, the chaos, the lava-infested volcano-type world. But from this chart, or from this picture or diagram, it seems seems like the further you go uh the deeper the zones that you go on so you would spawn in zone one and you would go a few thousand blocks you would get the zone two etc etc all the way to zone six um but that's how i'm perceiving it it might not be like that but that's just from this picture that's how i see it being which is pretty cool you know um in minecraft it, distance isn't a factor uh all the zones are just or zones all the biomes are just randomly generated around you or whatnot you just have a chance of finding one you have a chance of not finding one um you you really you never really know where you're going in minecraft you go in one direction you don't know where you're going until you get there you know what i mean one cool thing to point out uh if you look deep into the zones you can see the different type of cave structures which is really really cool meaning each zone has its own unique cave system when you go into minecraft and you go inside of a cave they're all pretty much the same you know they all have like the same little uh nicks and nannies they have like the same little turns and you know everything like that everything is pretty much the same no matter what biome you're in no matter what biome you're in you're gonna have the exact same cave but in the world of orvis slash hytel uh different zones means different types of uh, caves which is really really cool to me another thing that i love that the world of orvis has is prefabs now minecraft does have prefabs if you guys don't know what a prefab is it's basically uh an item or a, a structure that's generated on the world so for example a tree is a prefab or a village is a prefab um but in the sense of hytel they have more things than just trees and villages you know what i mean to be more precise apparently hytel has 3785 prefabs and i know they don't got 3785 trees you know more than, more than that number you know consists more of this trees you know what i mean you got dungeons you got you got villages you got you got kingdoms you, you got you got other type of villages like you got a lot of stuff in Hytel, 3,785 prefabs, that is a lot. You know, Minecraft probably got like 150, and that's, you know, I'm just, that's, that's, that's being lenient. You know, 3,785? That's a big number, man. In my eyes, that's a, that's a lot of different variations of trees. That's a lot of different variations of dungeons. That's a lot of different variations of portals. That's a lot of different variations of villages and kingdoms. Like, that, that, 3,785, 3, that is content to me. That is a large majority of content to me. You know what I mean? That's a lot. You know, that's a lot. They also told us a little bit about the uh, the portals that's going to be uh, in Hytel. One of the portals being the Gaian portal. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds pretty cool. Now, one thing to note 
um this portal is gonna have several different forms i'm not sure if this is gonna be the only portal in Hyatt's or it's gonna be like different portals like for example minecraft you got the end portal and you got the nether portal that's two different portals that go to two different dimensions in Hyatt's hall is it gonna be the same thing i don't know but this is one portal that i know that's gonna take you to some other location in Hyatt's hall and i'm pretty sure there are gonna be more portals like that now one thing to note they did say that the portal entrances can take several different forms so it could be several different forms but that several different forms take you to the exact same place um so uh, that kind of raises some suspicion to me a little bit either way i do like it you know when you go to the end portal every single end portal in every single world is exactly the same you know but in heights so they're gonna be different you know variety you know what i'm talking about that's cool you know what if you play minecraft and every end portal was different i know it would be like a quality of life update it wouldn't be game changing but it would still be cool you know what i mean every single portal every single dungeon they're all different they're all unique they all have their own little little special thing towards them to make them different from the next i like that that is cool also each portal is going to have its own little dungeon as you can see from this picture it's the temple of gaia dungeon now this guy looks insane so there's two things that i'm raising questions about so in this picture you see a floating island in the sky with a bunch of buildings around it and like a little portal dungeon type entrance in the center now it's in the sky in the sky and it's not on the ground where you can just randomly find it on like while you're adventuring it's in the sky it's floating now i don't know if it when they implement this in the high tone is it actually going to be floating like it is in a picture but if so that's pretty insane man that's like you got to go to one dimension you got to go to the end dimension and you got to find this floating place that's a dungeon to go to another uh, insane you know that's where my brain is going this guy is literally floating in the sky now you know they might have just done that for the drawing and this is actually just a dungeon that's going to be on the ground that you just randomly find but hey if it's going to be in the sky man it's, ooh, it's kind of insane if you ask me then we also have this picture which is the garden of elements that has the corrupted golem in the middle we've actually seen a picture of the corrupted golem already which looked pretty uh pretty cool i think we seen it in a trailer or something when uh they were showing off like the combat system i think we seen the corrupted golem in a trailer but yeah that looks pretty that looks pretty cool so garden elements is probably going to be its own side thing versus the temple of gaia dungeon and the the uh Gigan portal i still don't know how to pronounce that but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i think that the uh the generation of hyatel is going to be absolutely insane a different variations of dungeons depending on what zone that you're in all the different portals all the different bosses all the different just everything the, the amount of content that hyatel has to offer versus minecraft in my opinion is absolutely insane and on top of that this is all vanilla hyatel imagine hyatel modded <laughs> oh my god imagine it Marty. If, if vanilla hytale introduces this much content as its base game imagine this game modded the content goes out the roof you know what i mean it's like the ultimate sandbox game you know what i mean but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i really do appreciate you guys watching if you liked it make sure you use that that sub button my friend don't forget to click that guy my friend so you can come back and watch another amazing video my friend but yeah i also go live on twitch mojo underscore yt on twitch if you guys want to check it out i play some minecraft here and there you know me i, I dibble dabble a little bit but yeah i'll see you guys on the next video have a great day and peace Ciao.